For many times I was laughed at and not believed in, but it was still a kid with a dream and a belief in himself. I feel I still have room to improve. I still set goals for myself to strive for. Uh, I'm never complacent with what I've achieved. We have money, we have everything, we have fame. But the most important thing is the family. Keep your family healthy, good, and take care of your family because this is the most important thing in the world. Failing to prepare was preparing to fail. The night before a game, I ate the same food. I went to bed at the same time. I got up, I ate the same breakfast. Some people call it superstition, but it's a routine. I went on the courts with just a ball and a racket and a hoe. Because you might be actually not feeling great physically or mentally, you're drained, but the confidence somehow gets you through. Mm -hmm. And when you don't have confidence, that's then when you have to um, sort of trust all the hard work you've done and you have to keep on working hard so success comes back. I make mistakes, but I strive every day to be a perfectionist. Set yourself a definite goal and work hard toward that goal and don't let anything or anyone stop you in the process, no matter what it is. I didn't really care about the standings or you know the perception of my style or whatever as long as I could keep learning these new tricks. And so as I was successful in competition and, and winning a lot of the events, my job was just to keep getting better. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. People perform better when there's no safety net. People perform better in sports and everything else if you don't have a plan B. We were down 1-0. If you walked into our locker room at halftime, you thought we were up 3-0. Nothing external can, can, can defeat the internal. The only thing that can take someone down or break you down is internal. Nothing external is strong enough. You just never give up because you never know what can happen. You never know who you can inspire and um, who you can influence. I'm not going to go out and say I'm the greatest this or that. I, I just, I was a kid with a dream. That's it. You have to fail in order to climb that ladder. You are fighting the greatest fight of all times. And I fought because I knew it was not doomed to be a losing fight. It couldn't be a losing fight. You know, as long as you believe in what you're doing and you're doing things you love to do, then you can go out there and be the best at it. And that's, uh, you know, that should give you a lot of enjoyment and fulfillment in your life. Always keep an open mind that there is something out there for each and every one of you. And it's up to you to go out there and find your niche. You learn uh, just to, to stick with it. I mean, there's lots of days where you don't really feel like doing it or you don't feel like grinding it out. And, and uh, but you got to do it. You know, those are the highs and lows of being an athlete. And, and uh, if you want to you feel those highs, uh, you got to go through those lows every now and then. This time when you run and you just want to stop, you just want to give up, like to, to hell with this, I just want to go home. This day when you get up and you know what, you have a training today, you know it's going to be intense and you're like, oh God, I don't want to go today, but you got to go. When you play sports and you're committed to something, the commitment, the responsibility of showing up to practice on time, to being there for your teammates, um, to listening to your coaches, it's a responsibility that you have when you're playing with a, a group that you have to hold your end of the bargain. When you have to uh, make a putt, you make a putt. You have to hit the shot, you hit the shot. You just sort of like drop into another zone and uh, you block out everything. Sometimes the wheel can outdo the skill. And sometimes the fellow's wheel is stronger than the man who's actually better physically. And the determination weakens the other man just to see him so determined. I still feel I have a lot to prove, not just as a player, but as a person, as a father. When I get to a point where I feel I can improve as a player, I walk away from the game. I am the greatest. Hard f***ing work. You put it in, you believe in it, you will succeed. Everything was done to try to learn how to become a better basketball player. Everything. Everything. And so when you have that point of view, then literally the world becomes your library to help you become better at your craft. Some of the best athletes, the greatest athletes in the world, do things when they're uncomfortable. You just have to stay calm because it's not finished to the last point, no matter how close you get. I've been working so hard, 
worked all my life to be here, and I was determined to get this. You gotta start from way down the bottom. You gotta let it grow up with you. And if you're successful and you try hard enough, you're bound to come out on top. Just like these boys have come to the top now. Mentally, we, we, have a, we have a vision, we have a finish that we have to attain, you know, and sometimes you have to do it when you're old and you're tired, you know, and I think it, it's the test of your will to succeed.